Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. The Era of Everyone Becomes a God, the Hardest God in History. Chapter 36. Wei Sheng turned his head and said to Chen Heiorin, Let me see if you have been influenced by the evil god. Let go of your god domain. Chen Heiorin did what he said. He had been fighting with Sha Shen for so long just now, so he didn't know if he was affected. Above Chen Heiorin's god's domain, the sky suddenly split open. And I appeared in the crack of the god's domain, and the pupil looked around in the god's domain, like a detector, looking at every inch of the god's domain. During this process, Chen Heiorin was a little nervous. He was not worried about the influence of the evil god, but worried that he would be discovered with a tea stove in his body. No one knows what kind of form the legend of the tea stove exists, and whether the level of the domain master can detect the clues. After a while, Wei Sheng finished reading and praised Chen Heiorin. A freshman in high school, Chen Heiorin, became a demigod in just one month, and he can reach this level, which is pretty good. I've looked at your god's domain, and I haven't found any traces of the evil god's influence. Then, he said to Sha Shin, as for you, I can't let you go home for the time being. You can also see that I just noticed the influence of the evil god. I came to look for you immediately. As the domain master, I can't let me personally do anything. He took a long breath. Anything involving evil gods is of great importance. It seemed that seeing Sha Shin not saying a word, he was a little uneasy. Wei Sheng said in relief, but you don't need to be nervous, you just need to observe for a while, and I'm not sure if that evil god has taken you as his beacon. Beacon. Chen Heiorin was puzzled. Wei Sheng explained, when the evil god's influence on a person reaches a certain level, he can use that person as a beacon. Through that artificial node, he can radiate his own evil power. So if Sha Shin can be used by the evil god as Dao Biao, letting him go back will affect more people. I can only bring him to the domain lord's mansion and try to help him eliminate the evil god's influence. After being lowered from the spaceship of the domain master, Chen Heiorin returned to the seaside. Sha Yan Yan greeted her worriedly, where's my brother Sha Shin? Chen Heiorin was silent, not knowing how to answer. He thought for a while, then patted Sha Yan Yan on the shoulder and said, he was taken away by the domain master. It's nothing serious, you'll be able to see him after a while. I've already promised Wei Sheng that I can't explain to the evil god. Influence, what else can I say? This world is really dangerous. Although everyone can become a god, there are also evil gods, and the way the evil gods twist people's hearts is simply unimaginable. Chen Heiorin breathed a sigh of relief, no one thought that such a big thing would be involved in just one battle. Don't think about it anymore, there are still a few days left for the holiday, so have a good vacation. As for the upcoming midterm exam, Chen Heiorin is not very worried. Speaking of which, another blood match can be performed. After today's incident, Chen Heiorin felt more urgent to improve his strength. He opened his god's office and looked at the digitized god's information. God interface. God name. Yang Wang. Position. God of healing and protection. Divine order. Demigod. Faith points. 14,563 points. Divine power. 335 points. Unlit divine fire. Kingdom of God. Not established. Believers. Earth spirit trolls. Bronze humans. Divine Art Holy Shield with Burning Courage, Secret Witch Potion. Special Buildings Stone Heart Chapel, Silver Bone Chapel. Divine Area 100 miles in radius. Number of Believers Shallow Believers 1578 Deep Believers 456 Pious Believers 31 Fanatics 2. It was also the same blood red sky, and the second round, the blood red match was about to begin. More than 300 Earth Spirit Trolls are already ready. In these days, many outstanding earth spirit trolls have awakened the power to manipulate the energy attributes of the earth, most of them are in the form of stone spears and stone shields, greatly improving the attack ability and defense ability of the earth spirit demon. If the bloody match wins, the race can be advanced again. In that case, if the earth spirit troll is chosen, the potential of the next race will reach level B. Thinking of this, Chen Heiorin's heart became hot. There are many B-level races, and they are well-known and powerful races. In fact, the higher the racial potential, the greater the gap in racial strength. The gap between B-level races and C-level races is far greater than the gap between C-level and D-level races. 
This battle is very critical. If Chen Heioran's Earth Spirit Troll can be advanced, then his strength will be raised to another level. Wu. The trumpet sounded, adding to the desolation of war under the bloody sky. The space channel slowly connects to God's domain, and under the blood red gate, the skull seems to be grinning. More than 300 Earth Spirit Trolls took the lead, and Chen Heioran's army of believers was ready to go. The strange thing is that after connecting the space channel, God's domain on the opposite side didn't have any thoughts, and it was surprisingly silent. Through the blood-colored space channel, what unfolded before Chen Heioran's eyes was an endless plain without any obstructions. This terrain is a bit interesting. Chen Heioran's army had just passed through the space channel, and there was a rumbling sound in the distance of the horizon. It seemed as if countless horses were galloping, and the sound was like thunder rolling, and the smoke and dust raised covered the sky. The strong salamanders, with red luster on their bodies, were holding spears and sitting on top of fast-running lizards. From a distance, it seems that a burst of flames is sweeping from a distance. Is this the salamander race, and its companion race, the skinks? Chen Heioran narrowed his eyes. The lizardmen are a race with a potential of E, but the salamanders have a potential of C, and their companion race, the skinks, are also a race with a potential of Circa. Lizard men have hard armor with scales, excellent defense capabilities, dynamic vision, and heat sensing. They are natural hunters and fighters with good combat capabilities. But there is a disadvantage, fear of fire and cold, because lizard people are cold-blooded animals. However, salamanders are different. Possesses a good flame energy attribute induction talent, can maintain one's own body temperature, and can resist fire and cold. It can be said that the weakness of the lizard man is completely gone, and there are many more natural abilities of the fire attribute. The skinks, the companion race, are ferocious reptiles that run with incredible speed. The whole body is covered with scale armor, and its defense ability is very good. Their body size is more than 5 meters short, and the length is more than 10 meters. Their hand-to-hand -hand combat ability is comparable to that of terrain dragons. They are naturally calm and have heat sensing, making them ferocious predators. Moreover, they get along with the salamanders day and night, and they have the ability to communicate with them, so they can become the best mounts for the salamanders. It can be said that each of these salamander cavalry is a unity of human and horse. The opponent this time is a bit interesting. This is the strongest cavalry that Chen Heioran has seen since the battle. And at this time, on the side of the salamander. Report to the high priest, the enemy is right in front of us. Um, a salamander with several colored feathers on his head surrounded by a circle of salamanders. He is the high priest of this group of salamanders. I smell the sour blood of the troll. The high priest said disgustedly. Trolls, didn't these disgusting creatures violate my lord's territory before? The blood of their corpses still has traces left on the ground. That's right, but the trolls that came this time are much stronger than last time. The high priest's indifferent pupils looked at more than 300 earth spirit trolls far away, with a bloodthirsty look in his eyes. An oracle sounded in the salamander's heart. Afterwards, the high priest raised his head and shouted, Follow the will of our lord, drive out all the invaders, and the hunt begins. Hunting, hunting. Each salamander knight had a solemn expression, with his right hand drawing strange gestures on his chest, which seemed to be a ritual before hunting for their clan. May the Lord bless me, I will please you with the blood of my enemies. May the Lord bless me, I will please you with the blood of my enemies. Every salamander recites devoutly. The believers of the other party seem to have a very firm belief. Chen Heioran let the earth spirit troll stand in front of him. Next, these earth spirit trolls will face the impact of a wave of fierce cavalry. Along with the salamander, a horn sounded. The desolate trumpet sounded across the land. The consonant cavalry began to move slowly. Chen Heioran once saw a video of cavalry charging in his previous life. But compared to the rush of the salamander cavalry at this time, it was nothing. The huge body of the spirit lizard and its swift speed far surpassed the galloping momentum of a galloping horse in the previous life, as if it wanted to destroy everything in front of it. Here, the earth spirit troll stopped marching, squatting slightly on half knees, with maces and half fingers in front of them, and stone shields condensed on one side, ready to resist this wave of violent cavalry charge. Boom. Closer, closer. 
The Earth Spirit Troll could even see the indifferent pupils and scarlet tongue of the skink running ahead. Just when the spiritual lizard was about to collide with the Earth Spirit Troll, Chen Heoran made a move. Directly covered all the Earth Spirit Trolls with the Holy Shield. The moment when the skink cavalry collided with the front row of the Earth Spirit Troll. As if an extremely violent torrent rushed over, the Golden Holy Shields, which were like stubborn stones, resisted firmly in the torrent of cavalry. However, the anti-injury burn caused by the Holy Shield did not cause much disturbance to the fire resistance ability of the salamander. I saw a spirit lizard ferociously opened its big mouth, and bit it fiercely on a Holy Shield, as if it wanted to bite the eggshell. But its seemingly fragile eggshell did not shatter. On the contrary, the consonants hid away in pain, and the sharp teeth in its mouth collapsed all over the ground. But this is just the beginning, the cooperation between the salamander and the skink is simply perfect. On the mount, it was integrated into one body, making all kinds of unimaginable movements. The salamander's spear, along with the skink's tail and sharp teeth, struck at the same time. From time to time, the holy shields were shattered one by one, and the more than 30 priests in the rear would replenish a holy shield from time to time, but soon, this divine spell would be exhausted. As expected of the Second Scarlet War, the strength of the enemy has increased a lot compared to the first time. The legend of tea stove will match the corresponding level of opponents according to Chen Heoran's current strength every time. In this first wave of charge, the impact of the Salamander cavalry was very strong, and even the cavalry leading them in the front row suffered heavy casualties. The situation fell into a stalemate, and the two sides fell into a flesh and blood mill. The high priest muttered words from behind, a wall of fire more than 30 meters in length and width suddenly rose from the battlefield and moved forward. The mountain trolls didn't notice for a while, they were all burned by it, bloody and bloody, and there was a smell of paste in the air. Although their powerful healing ability was working, the salamander's attack was so fierce that he couldn't recover for a while. As for the bronze human warriors in the back row, once they were engulfed by the wall of fire, they would die. It's time to cast the divine spell courage Chen Heoran no longer hesitated. On the field, Chen Heoran's army of believers felt an infinite courage emerge from the bottom of their hearts, and everyone was fighting high. Even if they were bloody, exhausted, and bleeding, they all followed the opponent to fight like nothing happened, in the end. The salamander was surprised, how could these guys not be killed? Just now, my spear barrel was on the chest of this prey, but it didn't die. I sat down on the skinny lizard's tail and smashed his ribs, so it's all right. At this time, the god on the opposite side finally couldn't hold back and began to manifest. In the sky, a face that resembled a beast appeared, covering the sky and the sun. Its deep roar resounded through the sky, it was obvious that this was not a human god. Next moment, on the ground, several huge fiery red pillars broke through the ground. There are many scenes of Martian hunting engraved on it. From time to time, these pillars of flame will emit a jet of flame, attacking the nearby Chen Heoran's army, covering the entire battlefield. The attack frequency is high, and more importantly, it seems to never stop. Chen Heoran's eyes were fixed, and the oracle ordered. The Stoneheart warriors led by Sai Boda, fearing life and death, launched an attack on these fiery red pillars. Come on! Under the circumstances that everyone has been blessed with divine magic courage and will not die no matter how seriously injured they are, the divine magic of the enemy gods has almost no effect. The salamander high priest frowned when he saw that the attacks of these pillars of flame did not see any success. In the past, these fiery red pillars possessed extremely strong defensive power, and they could uninterruptedly release flames to harass the enemy, and at the same time break through the ground and destroy the enemy's formation. Relying on this trick, the gods he served had suddenly reversed in several battles in the domain of the gods, and even slaughtered several gods of the same level. But here, Chen Heoran missed it. The enemy gods obviously also saw this scene, and their angry roars resounded through the sky, but there was nothing they could do. He couldn't figure out why the enemies in front of him couldn't be killed. Chen Heoran laughed, the most feared thing after using the barbarian king is the AoE damage like you and now it can be said that it is a complete waste for him to throw this magic spell. The anger of the enemy gods lasted for a while, and then subsided, as if they were looking for an opportunity to strike again. The effect of courage is really powerful. 
Originally, it was like a battle of flesh and blood, but with the blessing of courage, not only was there no injury here, but more importantly, the fighting style that was not afraid of life and death made the opponent's salamander it was very bleak to be suppressed. How can it be? Impossible, why can't it be killed? Rush me, fight me. Warriors, this is the test of the god of the wilderness and the hunt, don't be afraid. The high priest roared again and again. The spiritual lizard who was sitting down rushed left and right, as if trying to restore the decline. He even released two more flame spells. Besides the flaming city wall just now, he also showed another spellcasting ability, which is a scorching ray with a length of more than 50 meters, which almost pierced through 10 earth spirits. The trolls, even with the recovery ability of the earth spirit trolls, were enough to injure them for half a day and lose their ability to fight, but with the blessing of courage, this move was almost useless. Just for the duration of courage, Chen Heoran's army almost slaughtered nearly one-third of the skink cavalry on the opposite side, and the remaining two-thirds were also suppressed at this time, and they were about to fall. Defeat. Warriors, don't give up. The god of hunting is watching us. The high priest kept roaring, encouraging the soldiers everywhere. Although salamanders and skinks are natural hunting warriors, if they are suppressed by the prey they are hunting, then such a decline in depressed fighting spirit are also reasonable. The time for courage is about to pass, and it seems that Chen Heoran's army's fighting spirit is not as high as before. There was a glimmer of hope in the salamander's eyes, but in the next second, they were desperate. The third divine technique, secret witchcraft. The secret witchcraft from Chen Heoran, which heals the priesthood, can activate the prepared witchcraft carried by the soldiers. At this time, the warriors took out the witchcraft one after another, and drank it, gulu gulu. After the disappearance of the divine art courage, the wounds all over his body are recovering rapidly, the wounds and blood flow have stopped, and even his exhausted physical strength has recovered somewhat. The high priest looked desperate. Heaven destroys my family. At this moment, the gods of the other party also made a move, and the fire clouds gathered in the sky, as if a huge magic technique was brewing. Chen Heoran saw the prelude and guessed something. With a fixed gaze, he quickly ordered the troops under his command to disperse. In a short while, a cloud of fire covered the entire battlefield in the sky, sparks fell one after another, initially scattered, and when they landed, they were already the size of a human head. It's raining grenades. Chen Heoran sighed, but these sparks do not distinguish between friend and foe, not only fell on Chen Heoran's army, but also fell on his own believers. There was wailing on the battlefield, broken walls and limbs, and a smell of burning, wafting around. Chen Heoran looked at the battlefield, and with just one blow, he almost killed more than 200 bronze human warriors and several earth spirit troll warriors. Fortunately, most of them regained their physical strength after recovering from the witch medicine. Otherwise, there would have been more casualties in this blow, and on the other side, the salamanders and spiritual lizards also suffered heavy casualties. Chen Heoran smiled slightly, the battle has been decided. The desolate and vast battlefield horn sounded, this is the bugle of Chen Heoran's army, representing a full-scale attack. Come on. Cyberta led a group of bald men from the Stoneheart warriors to take the lead. At this time, the salamanders and skinks were already in a state of depression, and were smashed by a group of bald men. A skink was lying on the ground, looking at a group of bald warriors around him trembling. The bald fighters all hold maces in their hands, and you hit me with a stick. Soon, the scales and armor of the skink were broken everywhere, and blood flowed out. It looked like a little white rabbit, and no one could tell that it was a ferocious predator skink. The roar of the enemy gods was already filled with fear and pleading, as if they had seen the tragic end they were about to face. Just like after the victory of the First Scarlet War, the army under Chen Heoran marched all the way towards the core of the opponent's domain, with the purpose of finding the godhead of the enemy god. There, Chen Heoran will absorb the understanding of the rules from the opponent's priesthood, and some remaining salamanders and skinks will either be killed or captured. This land will come to an end. This is the Death God Domain War. Chen Heoran's induction progressed step by step with the progress of his followers. It was there. Huge power lurks under a magma in the center of the opponent's domain. At this time, the control of the enemy gods over their own domain is extremely low. You can use your divine power directly in the opponent's domain. 
The two divine domains interact with each other, and the rule that each cannot directly use divine power has declined. With Chen Heoran's divine power, the ground split open and magma gushed out, revealing the godhood hidden deep within. The divine power moved slightly, and the godhead shattered. An understanding of the rules that included priesthood merged into Chen Heoran's mind. He is the god of fire and hunting. Chen Heoran remembered that in the First Scarlet War, the enemy's priesthood was wildfire and witch medicine. Here, do I have a relationship with flames? However, my healing and guardian priesthood does not contain too many rules for the use of flames. Hint, you have comprehended the divine art healing totem. Healing totem, the pillar of the totem rising above the earth can continuously heal the wounds of the surrounding allies. The healing totem has the characteristics of tenacity, is immune to most energy side damage, and has a strong defense against physical side damage. Explanation. The healing totem is a beacon on the battlefield. She soothes the wounds of those who fought bravely. Chen Heoran was delighted to heal a divine spell. Now he has understood and comprehended several divine arts of guarding one, which has allowed him to go further in accumulating the priesthood of guarding one, but he seems to be missing a leg in the priesthood of healing. However, to ignite the divine fire requires both of them to reach a certain level, and both are indispensable. At this time, the realization of this healing totem is simply timely rain. Seeing the description of the healing totem, Chen Heoran thought of the flame pillar displayed by the enemy gods in the previous war, which should be the flame totem. In this way, did he absorb this part of the rules of the enemy's priesthood? Chen Heoran knew it in his heart. With the shattering of the godhead, the opponent's god domain is also constantly disintegrating. After a mournful roar, the enemy's priesthood fell into silence and fell. This is the second god that Chen Heoran has killed, and he doesn't have as much emotion as the first time. In the heavens and myriad worlds, even the gods, the weak will be killed. Getting stronger is an eternal truth. After exiting God's domain and coming to the legend of the tea house, the bloody matching has fallen into the cooling down again, and the next step is the exciting time to draw the bloody card pack. In Chen Heoran's mind, opening card packs is always the most anticipated. If there is anything more worth looking forward to than opening card packs, it is to keep opening card packs. The bloody card pack is placed in the bloody box. The box was slowly knocked open. Without the golden light, Chen Heoran was slightly disappointed. However, there is a tinge of purple light. This is purple epic. There is no golden legend, and the purple epic is not bad. Chen Heoran was secretly happy. Let me know what kind of purple card it is. True silver holy sword. He actually got the big sword. The real silver holy sword is also called the real silver sword and the great sword in the tea stove legend. The disgusting thing about this sword is that it can heal itself every time it hits the enemy. The difference between this addition and subtraction is huge. Wait, is the effect of this great sword still the effect of the previous great sword? Chen Heoran looked carefully. Equipment card, true silver holy sword, a holy sword that contains the will to heal and protect. Every time a warrior holds this sword, he will heal his allies. Is it group therapy? Chen Heoran was ecstatic. This effect is much improved compared to the previous ones in the legend of the tea stove, but who should this sword be bestowed on? Theoretically speaking, it would be a better choice to give the earth spirit troll. After all, its physical quality is high, but the earth spirit troll has not yet appeared a fanatic. If you just give him the great sword, then what about other fanatics? Not in line with the simple incentive principle that the higher the belief, the greater the reward, Chen Heoran overturned this idea. It's better to give it to Cyber Tower. Compared with the Earth Spirit Troll, the quality of bronze humans is slightly inferior, and they have no self-healing ability, but because of this, they need to supplement the healing ability. However, Chen Heoran didn't intend to give this real silver holy sword to him with great fanfare, otherwise it would appear that he favored a certain believer too much. For believers, he still had to be full of divine light. He sent an oracle to Patriarch Lily asking Lilith to hand over the real silver holy sword to Cyberta. Sibota, this is a gift from the gods. Lilith held the sword in both hands and said solemnly to Cyberta. When Cyberta touched the pure white sword, his eyes revealed even more fanatical piety. Lilith said softly, the gods are watching us from the sky, when we fight for the gods, the gods will also bless those devout believers. 
Saibota beat his chest with his right hand, and swore to the statue, I will hold a sword, guard the territory of my lord, and defend my lord's believers. It's done, and the big sword is also given. Next, it's time for the bloodline to advance, so which race should I choose to advance this time? Chen Heioran hesitated slightly, but quickly made up his mind. Upgrade the Earth Spirit Troll to a race with a race potential of B, and see if it will appear. He had seen Bloodline advanced cards from C to B in the trading market of the Amber Domain before, basically requiring tens of millions of common currency. Saving by myself, the money can only be saved in the year of the monkey, and it is better to take advantage of the wave of rewards given by the legend of the T-Road. With the use of the Bloodline advancement card, the 5 meter high body of the earth spirit troll actually began to rise again, from more than 5 meters to more than 8 meters, each of which was equivalent to the height of a 3 story building in the previous life. Then there was the skin, their skin gradually changed from brownish yellow to a little silvery white, with a metallic luster, and it looked extremely hard. The muscles of the whole body grew violently again, each muscle was knotted, and there were streaks of hideous veins on it, exuding an explosive force. This is an advanced race of earth spirit trolls, rock gold trolls. Rock gold troll, the descendant of the titan troll clan. Racial potential, B. Energy attribute, earth. Energy sensitive, excellent. Bloodline talent, combat focus during continuous combat. The attack speed will become faster and faster, metal thick skin, manipulate the earth. Give yourself a layer of metal skin, super regeneration, strong self healing ability, even if broken the ability to regenerate limbs. Energy Talent, Earth Shield, Condense the energy of the Earth in front of the body to form a solid shield, Earth Stone Spear, Condense the energy of the Earth in front of the body to form a sharp spear, Growth of Earth Thorns, the energy of the Earth pierces through the ground and grows out, causing area damage. The Rock Gold Troll is a powerful troll living in the mountains. They are the descendants of the Titan Trolls, they have the blood of their ancestor Titan Trolls, and they are very skilled in manipulating the energy of the Earth Attribute. Long-term extraction of metal elements from the earth, changing their skin on the surface of the body, so they have a thick layer of metal skin, which endows them with a strong defensive ability. Moreover, their melee ability is extremely powerful, they will be calm and focused in battle, and their attack speed will become faster and faster as the battle progresses. And after being injured, its powerful healing ability can provide them with a body that seems never to be injured. A single rock gold troll can slaughter an entire army of mortal soldiers. Terrible fighting madmen and killing machines, this is the family of rock gold trolls with a racial potential of B. After the advanced stage, the rock gold trolls all looked up to the sky and screamed, wantonly expressing their eagerness to fight. The racial potential is B, Chen Heioran is very satisfied. As far as Chen Heioran knows, the head teacher in the class, Mr. Wei, he once mentioned it in class, it seems that it is only a race with a racial potential of B. Next time, talk to Mr. Wei, chat. Chen Heioran chuckled, he was a little swollen. But Lao Ban is a true god after all, and the demigod is still far behind the true god. The most urgent task is to ignite the divine fire and advance to the true god. As long as the divine fire is ignited, one can become a true god and enter university from high school. The three years of high school are a bit of a waste of time for Chen Heioran, so don't stay. Chen Heioran's accumulation in guarding the road is almost enough. In terms of healing, there are still some shortcomings. In addition, to ignite the divine fire, you need to accumulate divine power to reach 5000 points, which is not enough. However, there will be many more bloody wars, and prisoners of war will be used as sacrifices, and it will be almost enough. After this wave of bloody wars, Chen Heioran's strength rose again. According to his estimation, if he meets the Rotas from the Youth Academy now, who defeated him in the Silver Amber Ranking Tournament, he should be able to beat him violently. Although there are three races on the opposite side, and all of them can control attribute energy, Chen Heioran's Rock Gold Troll is a powerful race with a race potential of B. Just like this, with his eyes closed, Chen Heioran dares to guarantee that the three races together, they may not be able to break through the rock gold troll's defense. Not to mention Chen Heioran, who also mastered more divine arts than before, except for this blood color matching. By the way, the regular match of the legend of the tea stove, that is, the war of virtual gods, can also be played for the last match today. 
Then you can accumulate 5 victory points, which can be exchanged for a regular card pack. I didn't expect to be able to open 2 card packs today, Chen Heioran is very happy. Regular matches are quite easy. Chen Heioran doesn't even need to prepare, just a little. After entering, he didn't care what the priesthood on the opposite side was. The army of believers lined up and pushed forward all the way. All kinds of fancy tactics and roars of the gods on the opposite side had no effect in the end. Seeing Chen Heioran smile, let me see what will be released in this regular card pack. After the war is over, it will be the most anticipated link. Don't forget that a golden legend was opened here before. As the box outside was slowly smashed open, what Chen Heioran had in front of him was. A golden light shone in front of Chen Heioran's eyes. Am I so lucky today? After an epic, a golden legend can be issued, let me see which card it is. Magic card, sacrifice, one of the eight great god cards of the night, corresponding to the sacrifice in the eight great virtues of the night. This, I remember that the magic card courage before was one of the eight great magic cards, but don't forget that courage is equivalent to being activated by a group of barbarian kings, and Chen Heioran still remembers the degree of perversion. Sacrifice, sacrifice a certain number of friendly forces and temporarily endow a target. According to the immersion of the god's priesthood in the guardianship, determine how many friendly troops can be sacrificed. This is equivalent to temporarily lending the strength of a group of people to one person. Chen Heioran, who is now a demigod, can sacrifice the power of a hundred people, and then bestow, for example, Cyber Tower. This is to create a humanoid Superman out. Chen Heioran can imagine that in the future, bald heads can turn on the unparalleled mode on the battlefield. The addition of power is not just as simple as the addition of numbers, but a qualitative change. If the power of a hundred people is given to one person, then he will have what kind of power is like sweeping thousands of troops on the battlefield, invincible. Courage and sacrifice are worthy of being the magic card of a knight, and the effects are all abnormal against the sky, and it does not live up to the light of his golden legend. Chen Heioran was a little itchy, and wanted to find someone to discuss and let him see the actual combat effect of sacrifice. Just thinking about it, the opportunity came. I saw senior sister Xu Xiaoman coming out of nowhere, with a sad face and dejected look on her face. What's the matter with you, aren't you happy to find someone to fight against on the beach? Chen Heioran asked. Hey, I'm so happy. Heioran, I just lost three times in a row. I thought that with my brute force and the god of conquest, it would not be easy to smash others all the way. I didn't expect it. Chen Heioran couldn't help but laugh, it was not easy to see senior sister Xiaoman deflated. Although senior sister Xiaoman is usually a little reckless and cute, her strength should not be underestimated. After all, she is the god of brute force and conquest, and the magical skills she comprehended are all used in fighting on the battlefield. On the beach, there are students from Annan Prefecture, the capital of the Amber Domain. They are stronger than the average level of our Nanhao Mansion. Now, I have become a laughing stock in their mouths. Oh, when Chen Heioran heard it, his heart moved. Have the opportunity. Senior Xiaoman, tell me, in fact, you are not depressed because you lost the game, but because you lost money, right? Xu Xiaoman was startled, and tilted his head to look at Chen Heioran. You, how did you know? Chen Heioran smiled. Although senior Xiaoman usually likes to challenge, but she lost the competition, she is also quite generous. Except for one situation, that is, if she loses money, she will always worry about it. Well, I guess. Okay, Heioran, your guess is really accurate. Xu Xiaoman blinked. Senior sister, come with me to see those classmates who beat you just now. Do you want to challenge them? But you are just a logistics priest. Chen Heioran said with a smile, just try, if you lose, you will lose a little money. Okay, you come with me. On the other side of the beach, there were more than a dozen high school students gathered there, some piled sand, some swam, and some basked in the sun. By the way, senior sister Xiaoman, which school did they belong to? I heard that they seemed to be from Hongfeng High School in Annan Prefecture. Red Maple High School. Some information flashed in Chen Heioran's mind, and the youth school named Rotas that Chen Heioran met before was also one of the three major high schools in Annan Prefecture. 
It is equivalent to the provincial Qi High School in the previous life, so it is no wonder that it is so powerful. When Xu Xiaoman led Chen Heiorin to a relatively close place, a person on the opposite side came up to him with bright eyes. He just won a match with Xu Xiaoman. Oh, isn't this the little girl from just now? What's a little girl? Xu Xiaoman muttered dissatisfied. Why do you want to fight again? The man said. I'll save it. It was just a warm-up. This is my junior. He heard about you and wanted to come and see him. How about it, do you want to have a game? Xu Xiaoman waved his small hand, looking a little curious. Chen Heioren was amused to watch, Senior Xiaoman didn't seem to care much, but in fact he wished for him to get the place back. The man looked Chen Heioren up and down, and he looked like an ordinary guy. Well, it's fine. Anyway, we at Hongfeng High School have never been afraid of anyone. Since everyone is a demigod, it doesn't matter. By the way, have you signed up for the Shining Star Cup? Xu Xiaoman nodded, reported, what's the matter? At that time, you just wait for our Hongfeng High School to win the championship. Our Hongfeng High School is full of masters. The man said very proudly. Ouch. Chen Heioren laughed, and the young man's tone was serious. Okay, let's stop talking nonsense, let's have a battle, the bet is 50,000 common currency. Chen Heioren didn't think about making it too big. The young man on the opposite side also nodded in agreement, and seemed to be a man who was not short of money. Zhang Cheng, who are you talking to? A lazy and smoky voice came, as if scratching someone's ear. Chen Heioren saw that she was a senior dressed like a royal sister, only a little shorter than Chen Heioren, with an outstanding appearance and a charming figure. Isn't this the little sister from just now? Why? Did you find a helper again? Sister Mengluo, why don't you come and fight? Okay, it's a bit boring to bask in the sun anyway, let's just practice your hands. After Zhang Cheng finished speaking, he threatened Chen Heioren. Senior Mengluo, among us, the strength is at the top, and we are only one step away from igniting the divine fire. Soon, we will be admitted to the university. It's your luck that she is willing to make a move, so get to know her well. Oh. Chen Heioren didn't respond. Zhang Cheng was a little resentful, and failed to pretend to be B. The Battle of the Virtual Gods, Chen Heioren vs Meng Luo, begins. At this moment, in the city, a message popped up from Legend of the Tea Stove, detecting that the war has begun, and the opponent's priesthood is God of Charm and Assassination. Chen Heioren was taken aback, is this a new function of the Tea Stove legend? Before the battle, it is obviously very useful information to know the opponent's priesthood. The legend of the tea stove gave Chen Heioren a surprise. The space channel connects the two divine domains, and Chen Heioren also takes it seriously. After all, she is a student of Hongfeng High School, one of the three major high schools in Anan Prefecture, and this senior Mengluo is only one step away from igniting the divine fire. It is conceivable that her attainment in the priesthood is not too low. The war begins. As soon as the battle started, the opponent was also full of confidence, and immediately rushed into Chen Heioren's domain as the active attacker. This is. Chen Heioren's eyes were fixed, and the opponent's race was the succubus with horns on their heads. The succubus is an advanced race of succubi, and their racial potential is sea level, which is quite a powerful race. The succubus will awaken the talent of charming the enemy, reduce the hostility of the opponent, and thus firmly occupy the upper hand in the battle. In addition, they are dexterous, naturally good at lurking, and good at using the light of the environment to cover themselves. They are natural assassins. It is indeed a race that is quite suitable for the other party's priesthood. So, is this a battle of assassins versus tits? This made Chen Heioren say something good, isn't this a gift? When Mengluo saw Chen Heioren's rock gold troll clan, she also had a serious face. Unexpectedly, this kid actually has a race with a race potential of B. But from the way she looked at Chen Heioren just now, she doesn't look like a rich man at all. It's not wrong to think so. Generally speaking, to be able to upgrade one's believer's race to B must consume a lot of resources. Except for people with money and background, it is difficult for others to do it, and it is impossible for others to be talented, it must have been formed by guiding the bloodlines of the subordinate races to continuously advance. On the battlefield, the succubus clan who were marching stopped suddenly. Chen Heioren frowned, what tricks are he going to do? 
Then, the ground shook suddenly at the feet of the rock gold troll and bronze human warrior who were waiting in full battle, as if something was breaking out of the ground. Boom. The earth was split open, sand and soil were flying, and the line of sight was darkened. A series of khaki monsters, long and bug-like, broke out from the ground, like an earth dragon, disrupting the formation of Chen Heoran's army. This is a digging sandworm. This race is very rare. It is naturally good at digging. It can dig very complicated tunnels underground. It is the natural enemy of some underground races. Used in war, it is very suitable for soil attack, just like the sudden attack of the earth digging sandworm right now is messing up the battlefield. This chaotic battlefield is very suitable for assassins to play at this time. Chen Heoran narrowed his eyes, he was indeed a master of Hongfeng High School, he was about to ignite the magic fire, and the senior sister who entered the university, this set of combo skills, ordinary people really can't handle it. Sure enough, when the earth digging sandworm stirred up the battlefield, the succubus troops that had stopped aside started to move. When they were moving, they used the ability of the shadow side, and their figures became indistinct, as if they merged with the surrounding light. If you don't look carefully, you can't see that there are enemies here. A series of agile and blurred figures came from a distance, and the rock gold troll began to control the energy of the earth. Boom stab, boom stab. Suddenly, above the ground, thorns with a height of more than three meters pierced, like a jungle of thorns, with sharp thorns pointing straight to the sky. Some of the digging sandworms were caught off guard, and their skin was pierced, and blood flowed horizontally. A sharp and ear-piercing hiss resounded across the battlefield. It was the sound made by some digging sandworms when they were killed. Meng Luo frowned as she saw the heavy losses of the digging sandworms. At this time, many succubi had already galloped close. The rock gold troll and the bronze human warrior tensed their muscles, wary of the assassins who were approaching. Meng Luo is directly a divine technique. On the battlefield, in addition to the smoke and dust that had just been raised, there was also some gray smoke. The smoke is not choking, but it has a good effect of blocking the line of sight. This divine technique was just right, just when the dexterous succubus rushed close, it greatly strengthened the succubus' concealment ability. At this moment, on the battlefield, Chen Heoran's soldiers could hardly be seen even one meter away. But fortunately, they didn't panic and flee in all directions. Even though the formation had been disrupted by the earth digging sandworms, they still didn't panic, but stayed put and stood by. Chen Heoran didn't have any way to disperse the smoke, but he wasn't in a hurry either. I'd like to see how many iron-headed boys you can hack to death with your gang of assassins. In the next moment, as if a certain switch was suddenly turned on, all the succubus assassins began to act. In front of a bronze human warrior, a succubus came out of the smoke with a charming figure, smiling sweetly. That excellent figure made the bronze human warrior's eyes warm up. It seemed that the opponent was a super beautiful woman, and even the long sword she held in her hand was a little weaker. The succubus smiled sweetly, and the bronze human warrior couldn't help but walk up. The red lips at the corners of the succubus's mouth curled slightly, and a smug smile was raised. Then, Holding the dagger in both hands, it spun lightly, and attacked the human warrior's waist. But something happened that disappointed her. A golden holy shield lit up on the bronze human warrior. The luster of the holy shield blocked her dagger. There is a shield. The succubus cursed secretly, retreated quietly, and her figure was once again shrouded in the perfect concealment of the mixture of smoke and dust. Although these succubi failed to succeed in one blow, their looming appearance hidden in the smoke really made the rock gold troll and the bronze human warrior feel like a light on their backs. The rock gold troll is not afraid, after all, its own metal skin is very strong in defense. Even if the skin is broken, just protect your neck and head. The succubus can attack casually, but the bronze human warrior is different. If attacked, it is very likely that they will die. Chen Heoran didn't care that the Holy Shield was still in progress at this time, he cast the second divine spell healing totem, the battle with Mengluo, from the very beginning, his purpose was not to win a bet of 50,000 common currency, it was to experiment with his newly acquired magic and integrate it into his combat system. Above the ground, holy white pillars were suddenly pulled up one by one. The pure white pillars were like jade, and the crystal luster shone on the pillars. There is a statue of Chen Heoran engraved on it, 
holding a medicine pot in one hand and a solid shield in the other, with a compassionate expression. From time to time, a ray of light would cover the nearby Chen Heioran fighters, and it could be seen that the wounds were slowly healing, and even their physical strength would slowly recover. The effect of the healing totem is not immediate, but it subtly improves the battery life on his side. And the surface of this totem pole is very hard, some succubi seem to see the disgusting part of the healing totem, and start to group in groups, trying to destroy the healing totem. But when their daggers struck the totems, they could only spark some sparks, and there was no way to cut off the totem pillars immediately. Moreover, the fighters on Chen Heioran's side will not sit back and watch them destroy. The rock gold troll slightly condensed the energy of the earth, and formed some stone shields on the surface of these totems, making the totem's defensive capabilities stronger. This healing totem is not bad, Chen Heioran's eyes lit up slightly. The disgusting thing about this totem is that it can turn this battlefield into a positional battle on flat ground. If others are consumed with Chen Heioran's army, then under the continuous treatment of the healing totem, the balance of victory will slowly slide to Chen Heioran's side. And if the enemy wants to destroy the totem, it will be extremely difficult, and a lot of troops will be lost. It can be said that where there is a healing totem, it is equivalent to immediately turning it into your home field. This is positional warfare. As we all know, an army that can resist energy milk is a good player in positional warfare. The succubus tried and failed to destroy the healing totem. This kind of positional warfare or fortified warfare is not what assassins are good at. Assassins are best at killing with one blow, wandering outside the battlefield, and harvesting a human head. Chen Heioran asked the army to just sit on the spot and wait for you to hack me, to see how you feel. This style of play made the succubus with high attack and crispy skin very helpless. As time goes on, the smoke and dust seemed to have a tendency to gradually recede. Meng Luo was in a hurry, and she performed the second magic spell. On the ground, the shadow under the feet of Chen Heioran's army suddenly deepened, and the ground seemed to have been dotted with ink. With the center of the battlefield as the center, a huge circle spread out like an ink spot. Afterwards, everyone, whether it was a bronze human warrior or a rock gold troll, was bound by these shadows. Divine Art Group Shadow Binding Activate the shadow under the creature's feet, bind the creature's body, making it unable to move. This magical technique is very strong. Chen Heioran gave his own evaluation. I don't know how long this magical technique will last, but on the battlefield, as long as the enemy army is controlled for a few seconds, a powerful assassin like a succubus can play its role. If it is an army of god believers at an average level, this combination is enough to take them away. It's a pity that with such an outbreak, it is impossible to take away Chen Heioran's army in one wave. The divine art courage activates. The effect is as strong as ever. After these assassins finally got the opportunity to fight, they naturally displayed their full speed. The delicate daggers fluttered in their hands like butterflies piercing flowers, creating terrifying scars one after another on the enemy's body. Unfortunately, enemies just don't die. Have you ever seen a barbarian king afraid of assassins? It's a pity that this combination of forceful accusation and assassination burst didn't work for me. Chen Heioran sentenced this combination to death. Meng Luo was startled, is this person really the junior of that little girl just now? This strength is much stronger than her, what is the background of this person? Not only is there a rock gold troll with a racial potential of B, but his divine arts attainments are also extraordinary. If I remember correctly, this is a freshman in high school. The first year of high school, that is, less than half a semester after the start of school, can reach this level. Meng Luo was horrified, but she would not admit defeat. Then you, just take a look at my third divine technique. In the depths of the earth, a huge digging sandworm was buried deep in the ground and was waiting. At this time, shadows emerged beside it, and were bound to it like ropes, and then slowly merged into its body. Divine Spell, Shadow Prayer. This magic spell is a magic spell launched on a single individual, which can greatly improve its speed, flexibility and concealment. As for why Mengluo didn't bestow this magical technique on the succubus, it was because the succubus was not strong enough. And she saw that all of Chen Heioran's troops were iron-headed children. Compared with them, let this huge ground-digging sandworm, 
After its speed and dexterity have been improved to a higher level, it can continuously launch attacks and attacks through the ground. Harassing and taking away the Chen Heioran fighters is her current strategy. As the smoke gradually dissipated, although the figure of the succubus could still be hidden with the help of light, there were still some traces than before. Chen Heioran's warriors wielded long swords and maces one by one, and occasionally made meritorious deeds, killing some succubi. As time went by, the succubus suffered more and more casualties, after all, their fault tolerance rate was too low. Just when Chen Heioran's army thought they were about to win immediately. Under the ground, there was a far more violent earthquake than before, and a terrifying, super-huge digging sandworm burst out of the ground. It swallowed a rock gold troll in one gulp, and then burrowed into the ground. This surprise attack was not only overwhelming, but also very fast, making it too late for people to react. However, Chen Heioran saw that there were black patterns on the surface of the huge earth digging sandworm, which were traces of shadow power. It seems that this should be the opponent's trump card, just to try out the magic sacrifice that he just obtained. From the battlefield, more than a hundred bronze human warriors came out in an array. They squatted on the ground with their right hands covering their left chests, praying to the sky. I am willing to sacrifice myself and turn my strength into a sword to protect my homeland. May the Lord bless you. I am willing to sacrifice myself and turn my strength into a sword to protect my homeland. May the Lord bless you. The grand and solemn voice resounded through the battlefield. Stripes of golden light stripped from their bodies, this is the purest power. The fighters who lost these strengths became extremely weak, unable to support even a half squat, and collapsed to the ground. And these golden radiances, dotted with dots, converged into a long river, pouring into a person's body. That's Cyberta. Cyberta raised his head to the sky and roared loudly, and with the influx of golden light, his body continued to grow bigger and bigger like a balloon was blown up. 3 meters, 5 meters, 10 meters, 50 meters. Until the end, Cyber Tower turned into a 50 meter tall giant. It's not just the size that gets bigger, but also the speed. This is an all around enhancement. The true silver holy sword in Cyboda's hand suddenly turned into a giant sword with a length of 40 meters. Meng Luo swallowed her saliva. This is too exaggerated. If this sword strikes horizontally, dozens of people can be killed. The figure of the huge sandworm drilled out from the ground, brought up some dust, and took away another soldier. Cyberta roared, for the glory of our lord. Then he jumped up high, and with a jump and chop, he almost fell on the giant earth-digging sandworm. Fortunately, the earth-digging sandworm narrowly escaped by relying on the greatly increased speed bestowed by the shadow prayer. A sword mark with a depth of more than 20 meters was left on the spot. And some sandworm blood. Apparently the speed of the giant sandworm's ground penetration still couldn't escape this jump, and a scar was cut on its tail. Chen Heioran was also shocked when he saw it, what the hell, it's all Gundam in human form. Cyber Tower's shiny bald head, like the smooth roof of a building, has become a giant light source on the battlefield. With Cyber to waving the true silver holy sword beams of healing light spread across the battlefield, healing the rock gold troll and the bronze human warrior. Seeing this scene, Mengluo almost cried. I have used all the tricks here. As for Chen Heioran, with the treatment of the healing totem and the true silver holy sword, he gradually recovered to his full state. How can I fight this? What's more, there is a gigantic bald warrior on the field, and even the king of digger sandworms under the effect of shadow prayer can only hide. You know, this is her way of ballasting the bottom of the tank, and it is not used at all in ordinary wars. Mengluo was about to cry, she gritted her silver teeth. Very simply let the believers under his command blow the horn to withdraw troops. I surrendered, she said to Chen Heioran. This is admitting defeat. Chen Heioran was stunned. At this time, Cyberta seems to be addicted to playing, showing his prowess on the battlefield. Under the power of the true silver holy sword those succubi staged an extreme escape. It's quite a bit like a movie from a previous life where the main character escaped to the limit in Jurassic Park. It was very enjoyable for Chen Heioran to watch. After being gigantic, it will definitely bring about an increase in speed. At the same time, a horizontal split originally covered an area of more than 2 meters, but now it covered more than 40 meters. 
If you want to dodge this, it's like dancing on the tip of a knife. In just such a short while, many succubus have died or been disabled. As for the charm, can you count on the bald and muscular brother to explain the charm? It was also because Meng Luo saw that it was impossible to turn things around, that's why Meng Luo surrendered alone. Save the last bit of decency, or do you have to wait until the last soldier is hacked to death? Okay. Chen Heioran issued an oracle, ordering this side to withdraw troops as well. So the bet. It's your turn. At this time, Meng Luo didn't have the self-confidence she had at the beginning, she was confident and high above her. Her face was a little pale, obviously she hadn't recovered from such a miserable defeat. You, are you really a freshman in high school? She couldn't believe it. Yes. Hearing this affirmative answer, she was a little lost. She has always been the sweet girl of heaven, but she never expected to be ravaged by a freshman in a remote high school. Senior Meng Luo, you, you actually lost. Zhang Cheng who was on the side went to get a drink, and when he came back, he heard the news that Meng Luo had conceded. It made him feel like he was dreaming. Yes, I lost. There's nothing to deny. Meng Luo was also calm at this time. I heard that you also signed up for the Shining Star Cup. N. Chen Heioran nodded, looking forward to playing against you in the game. At this moment, Chen Heioran felt a gaze staring at him. Looking from a distance, by the sea, a muscular young man with arms crossed, looked at him with great interest. However, this person did not directly come forward to initiate a duel, but only became interested in him. Chen Heioran didn't care too much, he just defeated Meng Luo. Meng Luo is not the strongest person in their group, and will obviously attract the attention of other people in this group. But the main purpose of his coming today was to test his newly obtained magic arts and harvest, so he didn't plan to continue fighting. Do you have to slap each other's dozens of people in the face one by one? Chen Heioran wouldn't do that kind of thing. How ran, you actually won. Xu Xiaoman was shocked, is this still her ordinary junior? Originally, Xu Xiaoman had already thought about what to say when he lost. How ran, you've only been enrolled for half a semester, yet you're so strong. Chen Heioran was distressed. Oh, there is nothing to do with the talent, the progress is too fast, and I can't even stop the car. Xu Xiaoman blinked. Listen, is this human speech? But in the end they won, Xu Xiaoman was still very happy, and finally got back on the stage, and didn't let Hongfeng High School feel that there is no one in our Nanchang number. 3 Middle School. Lian, don't you want to challenge that person just now? Wait until the Shining Star Cup. If there is a chance, then we can fight again. The man just now is indeed very strong, and I am not fully sure. The man named Lian is the strongest existence in their group. Even in the entire Red Maple High School, he can rank among the top five masters. Is it so powerful? Well, his tactics can heal and add shields, and there are super soldiers, that is, the last giant humanoid warrior. It can be said that apart from the long range output ability, there are no obvious shortcomings. The most important thing is that it is too resistant. Meng Luo is on our side. Her assassination priesthood and succubus are very powerful existences, and there is a control magic like group shadow binding. Under observation, the battle situation was almost one sided and she was slaughtered. But on this person, he just encountered a tortoise shell, and there is nothing he can do. Well, from what you said, Lian, you are indeed very powerful. This person is actually a freshman in high school. There are talented people from generation to generation. Li and sighed. Returning to the place where Chen Heioran and the others were before, Xu Xiaoman excitedly told senior sister Lily what happened just now. Riri Senpei was listening quietly with a smile on her face. Lin Nanshi, who was next to her, also looked at Chen Heioran in surprise when she heard it. I didn't expect that when I pulled you into our club, I discovered a hidden boss. Where, where? Chen Heioran waved his hand. But today's battle was a bit beyond his expectation. I didn't expect the effect of the magic sacrifice to be so powerful. With the strength of everyone, a cyber tower of more than 50 meters appeared. This is just sacrificing the power of a hundred people, so what if we can sacrifice the power of a thousand or ten thousand people in the future? Chen Heioran thought of the battle of the gods in the crystal wall system model that Teacher Wei, the head teacher, showed them on the day of the ceremony of becoming a god. 
In the scene where the supreme monkey was born to fight against the god tree, the two are tall bodies, and every move will cause the sky to fall apart. That battle saw the blood of most of the students, and Chen Heioran was no exception. Maybe my divine art, sacrifice, also has such potential. In the future, when 10,000 people are sacrificed, Cyberda can also grow to a 10,000-foot body, and can even kill countless enemy troops with a single swing. Thinking of this, Chen Heioran's heart became hot. As the number one iron-headed kid on his own side, and at the same time the gods chosen, to have such power and influence, it would really sweep the battlefield and be invincible. The following period of time passed peacefully and happily, and the seven-day vacation time came to an end soon. On the last day of the vacation during this period, he started the third blood match. The priesthood of the god I met this time actually partly overlaps with his priesthood. God of nourishment and forest, the races under his command are giant bears and treants. With the complex forest environment and fairly good healing ability, it can be said to be quite difficult. But without a doubt, he was killed by Chen Heioran again. This is the third god killed by Chen Heioran, and it is foreseeable that more and more gods will be killed by him in the future. Because the nourishment priesthood of this god partially overlaps with that of Chen Heioran, he finally comprehended two healing spells. The first divine technique is natural nourishment. Natural nourishment nature nourishes all things, and the power of nature can be called to nourish allies. The power of nature can slowly heal wounds, radiate the power hidden deep in the body, and even have a chance to let them understand the racial talent. The second divine spell is Reign of Tranquility. Reign of Tranquility it is a large amount of natural force condensed into raindrops, which fall from the sky and heal all friendly forces within a certain range. These two healing spells can be regarded as making up for Chen Heioran's lack of healing. Chen Heioran now feels that his understanding of both healing and protection has reached the critical point of igniting the divine fire, and now only the last accumulation of divine power is left to ignite the divine fire in one fell swoop and become a true god. The speed of the progress was beyond Chen Heioran's expectation, after all, it was only half a semester. At present, in the alliance of human gods, there is no situation of suppressing potential new gods. Everyone is relatively united and seeks the status of the human race in the situation of tens of thousands of races fighting for hegemony in the crystal wall system. The competition is so fierce, if there is still internal strife, it will be wiped out by other clans long ago. As for the exciting bloody card pack, he didn't draw it out. It's impossible to be so lucky every time. It's either a legend or an epic. He ended up picking this card. Single horned silver horse with a thin line of Pegasus, they live in groups living on the vast grasslands. Their running speed is extremely fast. When they charge, the sharp unicorn on their heads can collide with them. The enemy, causing huge damage, has a very good sense of light attribute energy. Racial potential D. Energy attribute light sensitivity, excellent. Bloodline talent, like walking on flat ground, adaptable to all kinds of terrain, hard one horn, the one horn silver horse's one horn is very hard, combined with the wind-like running speed, it is enough to make everything stand alone the enemy in front of the horned horse is terrified. Energy talent, meteor at the speed of light, with the help of light attribute energy, you can temporarily greatly increase your speed. Choose the creature card, the one horn silver horse, but Chen Heioran intends to build his own cavalry. Of course, the most important thing is that the other two cards do not match Chen Heioran's current system. In the legend of the tea stove, his profession is a paladin. How can a paladin do without a mount? Although the one-horned silver horse's current racial potential is only D, but in the future as the bloodline advances, it will inevitably become stronger and stronger. As for the candidates for the knights, they must be selected from the bronze humans. Otherwise, do you expect rock gold trolls with a height of more than 8 meters to ride horses? That horse is too miserable. Finally, there is the opportunity to advance bloodlines given by the blood match. Chen Heioran intends to advance the rock gold trolls to an A-level race. The legend of the tea stove, your strength is insufficient, B-level is the upper limit of racial advancement. Dot dot dot. Chen Heioran didn't expect this to happen. I also thought that in the period of demigods, there was a race of believers with a race potential of A. Is there really a limit to this thing? Then choose to upgrade the bronze humans. 
Bronze humans are currently a D-level race, and they can reach C-level after advanced. The advanced power of the bloodline from the legend of the tea stove is injected into the bodies of all bronze humans. Whether they were training in combat or working in the fields, the bronze humans stopped their work at this time, and the power from the depths of their blood was constantly improving their bodies and souls. The bronze human race is an advanced race of primitive humans. They are mediocre in all aspects, but they have no obvious weaknesses, and their production capacity is excellent. They are very suitable as the first line arms of the main fighters in their god's domain. Now they it is about to usher in a comprehensive strengthening and advance to a silver human. Silver human, a human race that starts from ordinary human races and progresses step by step. Compared with ordinary humans, the lifespan has made great progress, and it has begun to move towards the ranks of longevity species. Racial potential, D. Energy attributes, earth, fire, water, ice, shadow, light, thunder, storm, etc. Sensitivity, normal. Bloodline talent, shining wisdom, silver humans like to think about various problems, and the wise men among them often have flashes of inspiration, which promotes the development of civilization. Skilled craftsmen, the various manufacturing capabilities of silver humans have improved again, they are good at inventions various tools. Energy talent, none, sensing various energy attributes can hone spellcasting ability. Silver humans are a comprehensive improvement compared to bronze humans. The most buggy thing is that silver humans have a common sense of all kinds of energy, and the training direction can be involved, which is very comprehensive. When the holidays are over and back to school, the midterm exams are about to begin. In the examination room, there is one seat for each person. Teacher Wei, the class teacher, stands in front of the podium. The rules of midterm exams in this era are different from those in previous lives. Teacher Wei introduced before that it is not that everyone is holding a test paper to do or answer some questions, but an endless wave of soldiers initiated by the school. The so-called endless wave of soldiers is a wave of soldiers initiated by the school to attack the student's god's domain. This is of course a virtual god's domain war. The strength of each wave of soldiers is not the same. Every student received the same number and types of attacks from the wave of soldiers. Persist until a higher round of soldiers will get a higher score, which will ultimately determine everyone's results. It is simple and easy to understand. It can be said that there are no tricks. It can directly show everyone's level if they can persist until the first few rounds. This rule, Chen Heioran felt inexplicably familiar. After thinking for a while, he slapped his head, isn't this a tower defense game? At this time, the exam has not yet started, and everyone sitting in the exam room is discussing with each other there. Hu Xiaojian was obviously exhausted during the seven-day holiday, and he started chatting with every classmate when he came to the classroom. At this time, he saw Chen Heioran coming, and rushed to Chen Heioran. Heioran, are you nervous? I heard that in the midterm exam. You have to survive at least 10 rounds of soldiers before you can pass. Chen Heioran didn't know what the concept of 10 rounds was, but he seemed a little nervous before the exam. Hu Xiaojian patted Chen Heioran on the shoulder, Heioran, you haven't come to class these days. Last time you said you were sleeping at home, I hope everyone can live this time. He said this because he thought Heioran was his friend who wanted to encourage him, and he didn't mean to be sarcastic. Chen Heioran nodded and said that he would try his best, and he also wanted to know how many rounds he could survive after trying his best. Hearing this, Qian Duoduo taunted, since someone defeated me last time, he started sleeping at home every day. Do you think everyone won't make progress? The implication is that I have made great progress. Chen Heioran rubbed his nose, unexpectedly Qian Duoduo still remembered that he defeated him once. He didn't have much memory of it. These days, too many blood-red matches were carried out, and he became numb after fighting. Okay, students, be quiet. The exam begins. Reminder, your domain of God is about to be invaded by a virtual system, and the intruder is the school of Nanchang number. 3 Middle School. The space channel is slowly erected. The first wave of invasion. Soft slimes came in bouncing one by one, looking a little cute. Chen Heioran took a look, the number was about a thousand. Slime. Can this wave of attacks be lethal? It seems that the school's testing intensity is not strong. 
A rock gold troll pushed up, and the slimes desperately went up and attacked. The Yanjin troll scratched his head, but didn't feel any harm at all. The slimes were all so tired that they collapsed on the ground, sticking out their tongues, looking like they had been hollowed out. Afterwards, the rock gold troll pressed his fingers one by one, killing each slime. It made Chen Heioran feel cruel. The second wave of invasion, green goblins rushed in with stone hammers, and the number was probably more than a thousand. Um, goblins. Chen Heioran raised his forehead, these soldiers are too weak. The third wave of invasion, gray goblins rushed in with spears, probably more than a thousand in number. Goblin. Chen Heioran. All right. The fourth wave of invasion, ferocious snow wolves, with sharp claws and fangs, came rushing in. The number was about a thousand. Fifth wave invasion. The school's midterm exam invasion doesn't seem to be very powerful. Chen Heioran felt that he was about to fall asleep. The oracle was issued, and Saibota and Lilith were left to figure it out. In the examination room, many students finished the examination one after another, and a small number of people's faces were gloomy, as if they had suffered a lot. I passed the 12 levels, how about you Dao Tianyu? Hu Xiaojian asked. 15 levels. Dao Tianyu said lightly, he he, it's only 15 levels. Qian Duoduo sneered. After recovering from the shadow of being hit by Chen Heioran, Qian Duoduo started to talk wildly again. Boss Duoduo, how much do you pass? Qian Duoduo stretched out two fingers. 20 levels, Boss Duoduo, you are too strong. He he. Qian Duoduo waved his hand, seemingly indifferent. Only. Qian Duoduo looked at Chen Heioran sitting in the examination room with serious eyes. Unexpectedly, Chen Heioran could still hold on. Counting the time, it's almost 30 now. At this moment, within Chen Heioran's divine domain. Level 32 invasion, mechanical puppets come in one by one. At this time, Chen Heioran used the first divine healing spell. There is no way, the rock gold troll is in front, and weak creatures can't break through his defense. Later, some creatures can break through the thick metal skin of rock gold trolls, causing damage. But it can also be quickly restored by the rock gold troll's self-healing ability. Until the invasion of these mechanical puppets. The bodies of these mechanical puppets are extremely hard, and their strange strength can cause a lot of damage, which puts some pressure on the rock gold troll. What's going on, why is Heioran still not well? I don't know, let's wait. It was Hu Xiaojian who spoke. The students all finished the midterm exam one by one, only Chen Heioran is still here. Teacher Wei, the class teacher, also looked at Chen Heioran very seriously at this time, as if he didn't expect Chen Heioran to last for so long. 33rd Pass, 34th Level, Chapter 35th. Teacher Wei, the head teacher, was standing on the stage, his legs were numb while waiting. He found a chair and sat on the edge of the podium. After a while, I looked at the 69 level. 69 levels. How is it possible, this is a freshman in high school? If I remember correctly, Teacher Wei, the head teacher, knows that this midterm exam is called Endless Soldiers, and there are actually only 100 levels in the midterm exam, and the best score that can be achieved in history is 70 levels. In other words, Chen Heioran is about to break through Nanchang number. 3 Middle School, the best student in history. This. Teacher Wei looked at Chen Heioran with complicated eyes. This student is too good, so good that Teacher Wei knows that they won't be teachers and students for long. It won't be long before Chen Heioran is afraid that he will be sent to the university to leave here, and how much of the credit he has taught for this. Probably not, he knew that Chen Haonan often didn't come to class. This is how an overly outstanding student feels to a teacher. At this time, Teacher Wei was in a mixed mood of relief, complexity, and a little loss. 83rd level. At this time, in Chen Heioran's god's domain, the mountain giants came from the space passage, and every step they took, the ground trembled. The mountain giant's defense and resistance to beatings are almost the same as those of the rock gold troll, except that its recovery power is not as good as that of the rock gold troll. Moreover, it is also very sensitive to the induction of the energy attributes of the earth. It is even claimed that as long as you stand on the ground, you will never be exhausted. But there are a thousand mountain giants that came out in this wave, and the number of rock gold demons is only in the early 300 at this time. 
The huge difference in numbers was no longer enough for the rock gold trolls to deal with alone, so Chen Heioran issued an oracle to send silver human warriors to the battlefield. Until this time, the silver human warriors had just set foot on the battlefield. The subsequent performance on the battlefield made Chen Heioran's eyes shine. Compared with the bronze human warrior, his strength and endurance had been greatly improved. From this level, Chen Heioran really fell into the feeling of endless soldiers. It is the raiding invaders who can spend a certain length of time with Chen Heioran's army. Before that, it was said that it was an endless wave of soldiers, but it was actually crushing and sweeping the bureau. Finally started to feel a little stressed, Chen Heioran licked his lips, the drowsiness dissipated. 85th level, 86th level, in the 99th level, the ones who came in were silver bimans, but the number was not 1000, about 500. Silver Behemoth has the blood of Golden Behemoth. It is a very ferocious race on land. Its height is about 20 meters, fully twice the height of Rock Gold Troll, and its sharp claws and powerful muscles have endowed them with powerful hand-to-hand -hand combat capabilities, even surpassing the Rock Gold Trolls. As far as Chen Heioran knows, the starting point of the Beeman clan is very high, and the racial potential of the Silver Beeman is impressively A level. So far, Chen Heioran has really fallen into a hard fight. The rock gold troll was dripping with blood in no time at the front row, and the silver human fighters were also of good physical fitness, fighting bravely. The situation in the battle was intense, and the injuries on both sides were rapidly increasing. Holy shield technique, healing totem, secret witchcraft, natural nourishment, one after another magic spells are thrown out like they don't cost money. In addition, Saibota slashed with the big sword while recovering blood in groups. The Chen Heioran army's ability to resist fighting and pressure caused the Silver Behemoth to consume a lot, and even lost half of it. It's disgusting, it's disgusting. A Silver Bimin spit on the ground. We Bimin are on land and have rich fighting experience. But we have always been claws to flesh. I have never seen such an enemy. After fighting for a long time, the blood came back up. After fighting for a long time, the blood came back up again. Then I fought for a long time, and the blood came back. When you thought you could kill him, he added a shield again. The silver bimans all nodded when they heard the complaints. Everyone felt like they were going to throw up. Young people don't talk about martial arts. The silver bimin said bitterly. When the last silver behemoth fell, Chen Heioran's condition was still close to perfection, only a few magic spells had fallen into cooling down. It's the hundredth level, and I don't know what kind of creatures I will meet. Chen Heioran is looking forward to it. Without stopping, a black dragon flew in. I am really as Kilo Zawik. This is an adult black dragon, and it is a high-ranking black dragon with a real name. This is a super unit, and he is the only one in the hundredth level. It is worth mentioning that in the endless tide of soldiers, the power of the gods in their own domain is restricted by the school. Otherwise, there is no need for an army of believers, and direct use of divine power is enough to burn mountains and seas. Because the school tests the gods' understanding of the priesthood and the guidance of believers. This is the key to determining how far the gods can go. At this time, the power of the high-ranking black dragon suffocated Chen Heioran's army of believers. Really is Chilo Zawik. This is a black dragon with its own real name, and the racial potential of the five-color dragon itself is above a level. Okay. Young god, you can actually see me. This is the last level of the test. The last level. Chen Heioran was taken aback. Isn't this the so-called endless wave of soldiers? The black dragon sighed. Although it is said to be endless, no one has ever been able to reach this step before. Since it cannot be reached, then 100 levels, 1000 levels are endless. What he said made sense, Chen Heioran was speechless. The black dragon looked at the army of Chen Heioran's believers on the ground. There was a hint of shock on his face, your army has not been damaged. There was doubt and incomprehension in his tone. Chen Heioran didn't know how to reply, well, it's okay, okay. The black dragon turned his head and looked at Chen Heioran with a pair of vicissitudes of eyes, as if he got to know him again. Yes, it seems that your strength is beyond my imagination. Then let me try, how strong is your army of believers? As the black dragon said, it swooped down from the sky. 
With its wings spread out, it is more than 40 meters long, and the mouth of the dragon is facing the ground. Roar. With a huge roar, it wantonly exudes its own dragon power. Afterwards, extremely hot flames spewed out from its mouth, and the air seemed to be ignited. The raging fire was like kerosene falling from the sky, plowing from front to back in the direction of Chen Heoran's army from midair. Quote dot dot dot. Old guy, I started immediately after I finished speaking. I don't talk about martial arts. Chen Heoran complained secretly, but fortunately, he was not slow to react. Divine Art Rain of Tranquility A large amount of rain full of natural healing power slowly fell from the sky, nourishing the wounds of Chen Heoran's army of believers. Ever since, a miracle appeared on the field. Ah! The burn of the flame made the soldiers all scream. Hiss hiss! The coolness and nourishment of the tranquil rain made all the soldiers feel the itching of wound recovery. On the one hand there is the pain of burning fire, and on the other the cooling healing of the rain of tranquility. The fighters fell into a toss and turned between extreme pain and extreme pleasure, as if traveling back and forth between heaven and earth. Um, seeing that the silver humans on the ground were not killed by his own mouthful of dragon flames, the black dragon was a little surprised. Looking at the tranquil rain falling in the sky again, he immediately understood. The resilience of this magical technique is a bit powerful. Heilong admired in his heart. He immediately thought of the scene when he saw Chen Heoran's army at the beginning, breaking through 99 levels in a row, but it was close to the full state. It seems that this god has a strong healing ability, and it may be a priesthood in this regard. But the old black dragon didn't panic at all. After all, one mouthful of dragon flames wouldn't kill him, so how many more mouthfuls would he still be able to survive? The black dragon's body that had just risen swooped down again. The vicissitudes of the Longan stare at the earth indifferently. This time he sprayed Long Yan from tail to head, and plowed again. The rain of tranquility is still falling, and the billowing dragon flames are also burning. Um, it turns out that the recovery speed is equal to the damage speed of my dragon flame. The old black dragon was shocked, he knew the temperature of his dragon flame. It can be said that if Long Yan sprayed on himself, he would be injured. It can be seen how amazing the healing power of Tranquility Rain is. The old black dragon didn't believe in evil, so he did it again. This is him plowing from left to right with dragon flames. Seeing that the body of the silver human warrior on the ground was on fire, struggling in the flames all the time, the effect of the reign of tranquility had disappeared, and the old black dragon showed a satisfied expression. He didn't believe Chen Heoran had any other means. After all, he was only a freshman in high school, and it was already abnormal to be able to comprehend this kind of magic. Chen Heoran took a look at his divine healing spells, and they were indeed still cooling down, as were the divine shield spells. It seemed that the only way to use the courage of the divine spells was to use the ballast. In the next moment, an invincible courage filled the hearts of silver human warriors. As soon as the courage was activated, there were still screams on the ground, but the soldiers did not die for the time being. The old black dragon was dumbfounded. If it was about the rock gold troll, it would be fine if the old man couldn't die from three mouthfuls of dragon flames. But this, a mere silver human being, can't die from three mouthfuls of dragon flames. This made him wonder if his longin had gone bad. He felt his mouth was a little dry, and felt that he still had a reserve of longin. Old dragon, I don't believe in this evil. He moved towards the ground again, and Long Yan covered him in a fan shape. A strange scene happened right in front of him. All of Chen Heoran's troops were struggling in the flames, but they did not die. This is the power of a divine technique. The old black dragon suddenly understood something, but is there any magical technique that can keep him immortal? The black dragon was shocked. He thought of this, and immediately thought of how useful such a magical technique would be on the battlefield. He is really an unlimited boy. Obviously, he has just become a demigod not long ago. So he flew towards the sky, and he was waiting for the effect of the magic to disappear. Have to say, this is a wise choice. The effect of the divine art courage gradually disappeared. Chen Heoran secretly sighed, this old black dragon has lived a long time, and he is quite a dog. He flew directly into the sky and went to avoid the wind. On the field, the rock gold troll was just fine, with half of his physical strength still remaining, and he was still recovering. 
During the eruption of dragon flames just now, they all used the energy of the earth to condense solid stone shields and block them in front of them. But the silver human warriors were all dying. Chen Heorin used Healing Totem at this time, but the healing ability of Healing Totem was very slow, so it only maintained the lives of those silver human soldiers and did not kill them immediately. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support my channel.